The Soil and Water Conservation Leadership Team presents Supervisor Elections Micro Lesson. By the end of this micro lesson, you will have a better understanding of the Soil Conservation District Supervisor Election process. Be aware of election requirements and know whom to contact for questions. Candidates running for a board position will be part of the upcoming general election taking place on November 5th, 2024. This is a nonpartisan position and therefore there are no primary requirements. Keep in mind that candidates running for a supervisory position will serve a six year term. Appointed supervisory positions are not part of the election process, but rather are appointed by elected supervisors. Individuals interested in becoming a Soil Conservation District Supervisor must meet specific criteria. According to the North Dakota Century Code, Statute 4.1-20-18, candidates must physically live in the district and be a land occupier within that district. Property ownership is not a requirement, but an individual running for office must occupy the land in that district. For example, one may be a renter, leasee, or landowner. Keep in mind that some counties are divided into two SEDs. An individual must live in the district in which they are running. Typically, districts only have one supervisor vacancy during the general election. However, there are exceptions to every rule. If your district has had a vacancy occur in the office of one or more supervisors since the last general election, in this case, 2022, the supervisor or supervisors appointed to fill that vacancy holds office only until the next general election. In this instance, your district will have more than one supervisor elected at the general election on November 5th, 2024. The process to become a candidate requires a visit to the local county auditor's office. The individual running for a supervisory position must provide their name and address as well as title and term of office. He or she will need signatures from at least 25 qualified electors of the district, but no more than 300. Once these steps are completed, the county auditor will place, without fee, the name of the candidate on a no party ballot for the upcoming general election. Meeting required deadlines is vital to getting on the election ballot. The filing deadline with the county auditor is the 64th day prior to the election. The date this year is September 2nd, 2024. Original filings must be physically received in the county auditor's office by 4 p.m. on the filing deadline day. Specific documents must be filled out by the candidate as soon as possible and can be found on the county auditor's website, SCD Google Drive, and or by searching online using the state form number. For example, typing in SFN 02704 should bring up the petition certificate of nomination form. Information on how to file one's candidacy can be found on the county auditor's website. It is critical that the individual running for office follow up with the auditor to ensure that paperwork is received and their name is placed on the election ballot. There have been situations where a name was either left off the ballot or two candidates were running against each other when two positions were open. There are numerous resources for you to access if you have concerns or questions about the election process. For specific election questions, contact Leanne Oliver, North Dakota Election Specialist, 701-328-4146, or your local county auditor. More generalized questions can be directed to the Soil and Water Conservation Program Director or your area program coordinator. The SCD Google Drive contains election information and candidate forms as well. Let's review. Candidates must be a land occupier and physically live in the district to run for office. Each district should have at least one supervisor vacancy, although there may be exceptions. Each candidate 
must collect a minimum of 25 signatures from qualified electors. And your local county auditor is your best point of contact if you have questions. Two more things to remember. The filing deadline with the county auditor is September 2nd, 2024 by 4 p.m. Ultimately, it is your responsibility to ensure that you are on the official general election ballot. Thank you for your involvement in your local soil conservation district. Please take a moment to answer the following discussion questions with your board and staff. 